Hello everyone, thank you all so much for coming and watching my YouTube channel. Today I want to teach you how to solve some common problems in Kobo Toolbox, okay? And specifically today I want to teach you how to solve issues that concern deployment. There are many times that or sometimes that when you design your form, you'll be unable to deploy and you'll be unable to review or preview the form. And if this happens, make sure that you follow these steps that I'm going to show you. And many times it happens when you have multiple or dependable um, drop downs because in such a case you need to have many duplicates in the back of your form and because of this duplicate it causes the form to break let's get in there let me show you what i mean so um the challenge we are facing on this form is that we cannot deploy this form and we cannot even review the form okay so if i come here and i go to form this is the form and i want us to first check the questions you see that according to this form one question depends on the other it's a dependable drop down okay dependable multiple drop down for instance this is the context of cameroon so we have two regions northwest southwest and then if you choose any region the division of that region is going to pop up okay so we have put all the divisions here and then if you choose any division the subdivision of that division will pop up here you see so it's a it's a dependable drop down and if you choose any subdivision the community is going to pop up for that subdivision okay so when we finally solve this problem we'll be able to review the form and you see what i mean the one thing i want you to pay attention here is the fact that we want to solve a deployment problem right here we want to first of all diagnose the problem and see where the problem is if we go back and cancel this x this is a context of cameroon and um, you might have your own context where you have designed a form and you want to deploy it, a dependable drop-down form. Maybe in your own context, you are looking at um, types of fruits, for instance. You put fruits and then put fruit types of fruit under the option fruits, put vegetable and then types of vegetable under the option vegetable. And then under the option vegetable, there are other subtopics of kinds of vegetables. So this is just how it is, okay? It's just the same concept, dependable drop down. So now, if you look at here, if we go to review, preview, sorry, you see that we cannot preview this form. There's a problem previewing this form. Okay? So now we want to first of all diagnose the problem and then go straight away and solve it. So right here we have, this is the prompt that Kobo Toolbox has given us. It says, the name column for the community choice list contains these duplicates. Okay, they are duplicate. There are some values that are repeated themselves. Other, okay, duplicate names will be impossible to identify in analysis unless a previous value in a cascading select um, differentiates them. If this is intentional, it means if you are the one that intentionally created this duplicate for one reason or the other because of multiple dependable um, drop downs, you can set the allow choice duplicate setting to yes. Okay, so it means that we have two areas we have to go and look for or look at. Community choice list, we look at the duplicates, and they have seen, we have seen here one of the duplicates is other. And then you can set the allow choice duplicate setting to yes. So we have diagnosed the problem. So now, how can we solve it? Again, before we go, let's click deploy. And you see for yourself that you cannot deploy the form, you see? So we have been unable to preview, we are also unable to deploy, and it is giving us the same prompt. We still have a um, column for community choice list contains this duplicate, and it is order. And then we also have allow choice duplicate setting to yes. So if you are the one that intentionally designed it that way, you should go and allow choice duplicate setting to yes. So that's what we want to do now. So what you are going to do is simple. This is your form. Remember that each time you design your form from here and you bring it at this level, you can go here, these three small dots. You see these three small dots here. Now we want to download this form. You must understand that Kobo Toolbox 
it works a lot. It's embedded into Excel. So it works a lot with Excel to fit the columns and the rows within the software and work very collaboratively to give you better results. Now I have the, I'm loaded that form. This is it. So it is now in my Excel. So this same form that I have here, okay, we have come to this small three dots here and we have downloaded the form and we have the form now in our Excel format. So pay attention. Now, if we go back to the form and we try to, down, to deploy again, it still gives us this prompt. We want to look at where it, what is said previously. It is saying the same thing. So we have community choice list contains this duplicate and then allow choice duplicate setting to yes. We will first go to community choice settings, okay? No community choice list. We'll go to our Excel. This is a choice here. We have it here. Community choice list, we have it here. So this is it. So we'll go to this sheet. So you have three sheets. You have three sheets on this uh, workbook. You have survey, and then you have choices. So when we go to these choices, you see that on this community choice list, on that column, which we have seen from this prompt, so it says, the name column for the community choice list contains this duplicate, and you see other. So we are going to go there now and see it. We will go now to that name choice, and then we are going to mark it with yellow. So you see what we are saying. You that is watching, you see what we are saying. And we are going to make this bigger. Okay. So if we go under this community, this column name here, as we saw, you are going to see this duplicate here. You see the duplicate? This is the other that we saw. So you have other here, you have other here, you have duplicates here, you have duplicates here. So this other, according to um, Kobo Toolbox, has a challenge. It was supposed to be a name. You understand? It was supposed to be a name because um, right now, as I speak to you, there's no name that we have written here. So when they start answering this question, they will need to input a name. So Kobo Toolbox is not identifying that name at the moment. Okay, so it becomes a challenge. This one, these ones are okay. Okay, these ones are okay. These ones are okay because they identify themselves and they can pick themselves, comparing themselves to just pick and then move on, pick and move on. So we have this order in different places. So Kobo Tubo can see fine in that. This, what does this order mean? It has not gotten this order. So we only get it when we are answering this form and we want this order to remain there to indicate to the those who are answering the question that if you select and you don't see these particular communities, write this order into the system. Okay, so that is where Kobo Toolbox is having a challenge. But now, it has come again and is asking you, was this intentional? If it was intentional, you can set the allow choice duplicate setting to yes. So we'll go back now to our form, no, to our Excel sheet. We go here to settings, allow the settings. Okay, it says allow choice duplicate. Okay, let's go back again and see. I'm taking my time. It says you can set the allow choice duplicate setting to yes. So we go now to the Excel pump here. And then this is it here. I want to still color it with yellow so you see it. So remember we have moved from survey, move to choice, check this, and then now we are at setting. We'll come here now and come here. There is no year. This is why our form could not be deployed or previewed. So we'll come here now, remove this no, and then we'll put yes. So we have solved this problem, okay? I want to put all in small letters because no was in small letters, you see? So we have solved this problem. So this is how we do it. So once we put that on, we just save this form. We will save it now with another name, okay? We will just save it with another name. Let's just save it on Kobo Lessons. We'll save it with another name, Kobo Lessons, okay? And then we put it on our desktop. So we have saved it. Now we have Kobo Lessons. This is the next step now. So after we have saved it as Kobo Lessons, we are going to come back here and then come to this other option. You see this other option here? It says replace this form. We are going to replace this form now with our Kobo Lessons form. Okay? So we'll come here and we click this replace form here. Once we click this replace form, it gives us different option. Upload Excel, upload URL, upload template. So we are going to be uploading Excel because that is where we did the adjustment. We'll come and click here and then it opens our desktop. 
So we are going to go to Kobo Lessons and we click our Kobo Lessons and then we click Open. So we are attaching that form back into Kobo Toolbox. Now, once we do that, always remember to refresh. We'll come to this small icon up here and we refresh our form to give it back a new taste, okay? And once we do that, you see that if we come now to preview, you see that our form now is previewing without stress, you see? So this is what we have here. Remember that when you choose Southwest, the divisions appear. You choose a division, the subdivision appear. You choose a subdivision and then the communities now appear, okay? So this is how we do it. It means that we can still design this form just through your Excel and then you upload it into Excel. We are going to be looking at this again, how to do your dependable dropdowns using your Excel, designing it from Excel and then uploading it into your Kobo toolbox and then moving on, okay? That will be in another video. You see, this is just it here. Okay, if you have a file, it's just to follow these steps. It's very, very easy, guys. It's extremely easy. It's just to make sure you follow these files. Have a file like this and follow up on it and just do the same. If you have other regions, if you have other things that you are comparing or you want to, you, you are expecting them to depend on the, on the other, you just follow these very simple steps here. If you look at here, you have the region, you have the division, you have the subdivision, and then you have the communities, okay? Under this header, list name. Under the name, they still repeat themselves again in another kind of code, a code style, where you have this name and then a, 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 a code here, and then you have the, 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 the remaining um, um, statement. And then you come here again now, you still have it now in full. So there is that repetition under this other header called label. And then you come to region now, you find out the different regions. These regions are given here because they are relating back to this sub, to this division, sorry. You see, to the sub. So this um, region relates to this um, division. You see, this other one relates to this division. This other northwest relates to the division. It relates to this division. And you move on gradually. You move now to the division on this other column. So it's just a strategy where you have a name and then the code the names, and then you have another name and then the code the names. Okay? So it's, that, that's how simple it is. But we are going to be doing another video on that. For now, just stay with deployment and let's see how this goes you see that i can also deploy now i'm going to come here and i deploy you see that i'm deploying my form now you see it has now deployed been deployed you see that is it is now deployed so now i can go again and i refresh the form and automatically they start collecting data so i put this to allow submissions to this form without the user or pass username or password and that is it we have deployed that form and we have solved that problem I hope this helps. Stay blessed. I hope this was helpful, guys. And please do make sure you subscribe. Do make sure you like. Do make sure you share. And please comment down below um, those things that you want us to um, cover so far as Kobo Toolbox is concerned. Thank you.